Good weekend. Good weekends. Good weekend. Good weekend. Good weekend. Let's go for a drive. What do you say? Tuning in to Brandon's Bon Bush. Okay. Off to the Donut Monster. So the Donut Monster, they were supplying uh, independent grocery stores and coffee shops in 2015. Um, oh, I gotta close this. My dog weighs more than the capacity for the airbag. All uh, right, Bob. I got the dogs with me today. Uh, so now this location is established in 2018 and they make all sorts of gourmet donuts. They do have vegan options, which is always nice for all you vegan heads out there. Nothing against that. Sorry about the shakes. And um, we're going to be trying some donuts today. We're going to do a little bit of review, some rating, see what they're all about. We've got to focus on the road for a little bit here. Right? That right ball. So uh, I'm doing this just to bring a little bit more awareness to some of the small businesses, especially the donut shops, because they just love donuts. Uh, yeah, they just want to bring a little more attention uh, around the Hamilton and surrounding areas. So we tried a lot of the shops around here, and uh, hopefully they'll be delicious. Hopefully it's not bouncing too much there. And the right ball. Yeah. We got Duck here. We got Molly here. I don't know if you see her or not. Watch out, Bert! So I haven't had a cheat day in about two months. So I'm really craving these donuts right now. I just want something sweet and something carby. If that makes sense. It's like the best of both worlds, you know, when you're cutting, especially on a cutting diet. You can't have, well, you have, um, right now I'm low carbs and higher in fats. So I'm really craving bread and, you know, of course the sweets. So I get the best of both worlds by uh, getting donuts. That's why they're my favorite. I've had quite a few donuts in my life so far, and I don't plan on stopping. Kind of like uh, Will Tenney there. Let me know when you want to challenge there, bud. We could do the Krispy Kreme thing, man. So it's not far from my house. About a 14 minute drive. These guys are located on Lock Street here in Hamilton, Ontario. And you can definitely, I'll put their website in the um, description below you can definitely check take a look yourself I also was reading a bit on their website description about what they're all about um, they they're even said they are willing to work with individuals about having their own flavors so maybe next time I'll give that a shot but these look good we got a little bit of a variety today Some different flavors I wanted to try today So we'll see how that goes. Careful. Hopefully the ride will be a little bit smoother now. Yeah, my favorite type of donut would have to be the jelly filled donuts. They're just the best of like everything. You get the crispy donut crunchy on the outside, nice soft filled jelly on the inside, whatever kind of flavors you want, fruit, Nutella. Put in the comments below, uh, what's your favorite donut? I wanna know, I like talking to you guys. I wanna talk to you guys, comment more. Don't be scared, all 50 of you, 49, soon to be 50. Road to 1K, subscribe, please. You're helping out. But uh, I'm gonna focus on the drive here and we will see you at the shop. It's review time. Here are the donuts. Classic cinnamon, blueberry breakfast, dill pickle, dill pickle, 
sarsaparilla, toffee, and cherry lime. So what we'll be reviewing and rating is its flavor and how close it is with its name and presentation. We're going to do presentation, overall taste, of course, and I'm going to rate the sweetness. And then we're going to give it an average at the end of it, out of 10. So let's do it. We're here at this beautiful antique table. We got our dog plate. Very sharp knife, because I'm not eating all of these. You're crazy. And the handy dandy beard napkin. Let's dive in, shall we? All right. I think I want to try the cherry lime first. Let's do that. Just cutting quarters out. Just cutting quarters out. That's all. It's cheat day. Nice. I guess we gotta put the lime on there, shall we? Just a little quarter. There's no way I can eat all of this. There you have it right there. Come on now. Let's give it a shot. One bite. All of it. Bird knocking. All of it. Mmm. I hit you with that lime. Not so much cherry, really overpowerful lime, but it's good. I'm gonna give it a four out of ten for the how close it is to its name. Does it represent it ex perfectly? No. Is it, did I get a hit of lime? Absolutely. It's delicious. Um, for the flavor, I want to give it six out of ten. Sweetness. 6 out of 10. And the appearance, 7 out of 10, for sure. That's great. I'm going to put that over here. Now, moving on to the Isaias Morel. Again, a little quarter. That's all. Of course, the one bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And where else to do an eating review than in your home gym? Come on. Flavor spot on. Um, I'm going to say 7.5 for the flavor. Appearance, it's, it's okay. It's like a glazed donut with some swirls on it. I'll say 5 out of 10 for the sarsaparilla. You could even throw in like a little one of those gummy cokes on the top. That'd be crazy. Um, the taste. If you, if you like root beer, if you're a root beer fan, it's great. 7.5. And relative to its taste, like is it on par? Absolutely. I'm going to say 10 out of 10 for the, uh, um, if it tastes exactly as they're selling it. For sure. So let's put that one aside. Let's go the toffee donut. Let's get that knife. Get a cut. Let's go one bite. Ooh. Mm hmm. A little more dark chocolate. Excuse me. I like the toffee. Toffee's good. You're definitely getting exactly what it's called. 8 out of 10, for sure. I thought I was getting a little bit more milk chocolate, but I got dark chocolate. Taste, let's go 6 out of 10. Appearance, I love this. I like the crumble on top. It's simple, but effective. 8.5 out of 10. And the sweetness. Mm, that hits different. So it's, it's pretty sweet. I'll say uh, 8 out of 10 for the sweetness. And if I didn't rate the last one, the sarsaparilla, it was it was root beer, savory, but it had the sweetness. So it, the sarsaparilla was also at 8 out of 10. Uh, we're going to save the dill pickle for last because that's just crazy. 
Let's go with the classic cinnamon roll, but this it's more of a square. Um, if you don't think you want to see that, for sure. Uh, where do I start? Let's go here and here. Bingo, bongo, bongo. Sorry, I get so excited when I use cinnamon rolls. Mm. Okay, okay. I think it would be a little bit better warm, to be honest. But it's good. Cinnamon roll. You're getting a cinnamon roll. 10 out of 10. Taste. 6.5 out of 10. It's not the best cinnamon roll I've ever had. But it's delicious. Sweetness. Surprisingly, it's it's not as sweet as you'd think it would be for a cinnamon roll. Um, especially other shops that you would... Uh, get cinnamon rolls. I'll say the sweetness is about 7 out of 10. And uh, the appearance, I mean, come on. 8 out of 10. Delicious. We'll put that there. Blueberry breakfast right there for you. Sorry if I didn't show you the other ones. I was just so excited. I haven't had donuts in forever. One bite. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> okay. Definitely fresh blueberries. Absolutely fresh. If you like blueberries, that's the way to go. Absolutely. Taste to its name. Nine out of ten, for sure. Um, the taste itself, I'm going to score it a five out of ten. I didn't enjoy it as much as I would say just a regular blueberry donut. But if you want a little bit of fr a fresher taste, go for this option, um, which some people find amazing. So, by all means. And then the sweetness, um, 5 out of 10, for sure. Last but not least, I'm kind of scared for this, to be honest. Um, I don't know what to expect. There's the pickle, right there. We got two pickles, right in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to, I don't even know how to tackle this. I don't know how much pickle I want on the donut. Let's go for it, you know, try new things. Cheers. Hmm. Um. Is it as advertised? Absolutely. Knocks it out of the park. 10 out of 10. Um, the taste, when it hits you, when you first take that bite, um, you're kind of like, what is going on in my mouth? It pushes you away, but then it draws you back in. Um, I'm sure we've all experienced something similar. Uh, I think the sweetness is what saves it. If you're a big fan of dill pickle or you're craving a, a dill pickle donut, it's the place to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so the taste rating. Personally, I don't enjoy this donut. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. The sweetness is up there. 6 out of 10. Um, and the appearance. Just look at it. It was beautiful. Nice little deep fried pick dill pickle at the top. Swirls. 7 out of 10 for the appearance. They even have like dill actually in the donut glaze it looks like. So it's great. So these were all the donuts for today. Until next time. On Brandon's Bon Bouche.